Here are the Apocopop 10 best moments on Call Me If You Get Lost. 10. On Massa, Tyler uses a caterpillar to butterfly metaphor to reflect his personal development. He also links it to his musical growth, from the inconsistent cherry bomb to the acclaimed flower boy. His closing lines are aimed at armchair critics, who dismiss artists' work with no care for the context. 9. Wilshire is an eight-minute single-take love letter addressed from Tyler to his friend's partner. After boasting about material success, he accepts that he still wishes for a romantic connection. The near-constant bass line drops out here, leaving a void that's filled only after the two are reunited. 8. Tyler's anecdote about pursuing his friend's partner also features on Corso, when upbeat group vocals give way to a sparse piano line. It's just one of the many beat switches that are crammed into the track's two and a half minutes. The interjections from Hype Man DJ Drama suggest that this unpredictability is there to mess with us. 7. The album's centerpiece is a two-part track that segues from starry-eyed R&B to dub reggae. The latter is announced with air horns, an offbeat skank, prominent bass, and sharp percussion hits. True to her lyrics about timing, Vanahue's guest verse spins into a repeated idea that crosses the bar line. 6. Likewise in Sweet, the rhythm loosely approximates the triple time mentioned in the vocals. But the highlight comes shortly beforehand, as the accompaniment rises in tandem with the melody. As this peaks, the word infinite prompts a spacey synth arpeggio to enter, adding a new dimension. 5. Much of the project is defined by its moody, atmospheric arrangements, including Manifesto. The ghostly vocal snippets heard throughout sound tense, thanks to the dissonance they produce. Take the opening section, where each four-note group ends with a harsh clash against the bass line. 4. Another great example of musical tension is the ominous semitone trill underpinning Lumberjack. The intro recreates this Gravedigger's sample from scratch, giving a decidedly shaky rendition of it. Along with Tyler's anecdote about picnic blankets, it's like a playful parody of his horrorcore roots. 3. Hot Wind Blows flips very different source material, this time from soul singer Penny Goodwin. Its fluttering woodwinds, offbeat cymbals, and gentle piano are suited to the relaxed yacht setting. A mention of whistling wings triggers the chirp of an analogue-style synth, which is then folded into the mix. 2. In keeping with the track title, the beat on Juggernaut is designed to be heard on a subwoofer. The 808 bass sinks down to a bottom E flat, pushing towards the lower limit of human hearing. The bass line also underlines the F flat, a semitone above, an interval that adds to the song's raw vibe. If you haven't already, remember to like and subscribe. Here's the final entry in our countdown. 1. E flat and F flat are also present in the bassline of What's Your Name, a slick 90s R&B inspired jam. The F flat only appears in passing, stitching together the loop of two alternating ninth chords. Silence punctuates the track, grabbing our attention, like before Young Boy Never Broke Again enters. Here, his flow and aesthetic use of auto-tune drag the song's influences deftly into the 21st century. Let us know your favourite moment on Call Me If You Get Lost, take a look at the Apocopop 10 playlist for more albums, and consider supporting the channel on Patreon. See you next time.